Hi, this is Travis Romine, and today we're going to be talking about my Tesla solar panels going down because my inverter broke after one and a half years. We'll talk about what happened. Let's go. All right, well, if this is your first time watching, um, I do videos on my Southern California Edison electric bill with Tesla solar panels. I've done a whole, I did those uh, every month for an entire year. So you can go through all of those if you're curious about, you know, what the costs are and how much credit you get. And I did a one year video of showing how well that I didn't pay for any electricity at all and got money back at the end of the year from Southern California Edison. So I show my bill and I also show my solar production. I do videos on that if you're interested in that. And um, there's a link down below for uh, Tesla Solar. They're always changing the promotion each month. You might get a discount if you use the link below. Um, so yeah, so all right, so let's get in the video and see what happened with my inverter. All right, well, some quick specs on my system. I live just above San Diego, California in the Temecula Murrieta Valley. My system is 12.24 kilowatts. It is 36 panels, Q-cell panels at 340 watts per panel. And my panels face east-west with my largest array facing west. And also to give you some specs on my inverter, I have a 12.24 kilowatt system with an 11.4 kilowatt Solar Edge HD Wave inverter. So uh, the sun comes down to the panels. All that energy uh, that the panels uh, produce is DC. It goes to the inverter and the inverter converts it to AC and then it goes into the house and back to the utility. So just to give you some specs on that. All right, well, uh, yeah, my uh, system went down. I've only had it about a year and a half and I was looking at my Solar Edge app. I use the Solar Edge app and the Tesla app to monitor um, the power that it's producing. So yeah, I was looking at it and I think it was around June 22nd, uh, it completely dropped off and so I just thought, you know, maybe it was a glitch. I waited about an hour, checked it again, and it was definitely down. So I called Tesla and they tried to troubleshoot over the phone. They wanted, uh, my inverter does not have a screen on it. So it just has blinking lights. So they wanted to troubleshoot with me to um, turn my system off and turn it back on and tell them what color lights were blinking, basically to try to get an error code. Um, once they got the error code, they would know what to do. Um, the first person I called, um, they told me, to uh, shut the whole system off, uh, including the breakers, the inverter itself, and turn it back on. And they said, oh, you're back, you're good. And I said, well, I, how do I know I'm good? And he was, I can see it on my end. Well, on my end, I don't have a screen. So he was like, yeah, it's good. We'll talk to you later, bye. I'm like, all right. So I went over to my uh, net metering meter for the utility, and I saw that no electricity was being sent back to the grid. So I knew it wasn't working. But I waited about an hour just to see if it, uh, need a time to start up or anything like that. And after an hour, it did not produce any energy, didn't send anything back to the grid. It was about noon, lots of sun. So I knew uh, it still wasn't working. So I called Tesla back a second time and I got somebody and they wanted to um, do the same type of troubleshooting. Um, and they basically said, you know what, we're gonna send somebody out. So a week later, they sent somebody out. They came to a uh, Tesla person, came to my house, looked at the inverter and said, hey, you know, uh, it's not working. We don't uh, fix these. We just replace them. So it is a solar edge inverter, even though it's through Tesla. This is before Tesla started making their own inverters. So I have a solar edge one. It has, a, I think, a 10, 12 year warranty on it. So they contacted uh, solar edge, confirmed the warranty. Solar edge shipped uh, a brand new inverter to Tesla. Tesla came out and installed it on August 9th. So it was around six weeks from the time I was down to the time I was back up. And it was, you know, June to August. Uh, so yeah, it was my major production time. So I missed out on that. And I had to use my air conditioner a lot more. So yeah, it was not the best time, but I guess it never is the best time for your solar <laughs> panels to be down. But anyway, um, they came back. Uh, the Tesla tech uh, replaced my solar edge inverter with the exact same one. They don't uh, change it out to a Tesla one. They just, you know, they have a warranty through solar edge and. So they just sent a new one, replaced it, and that day it was back up, and so I'm running again, yeah. So uh, that's kind of, you know, the whole thing that worked. It was, went down, I called them, came out a week later, confirmed it was bad, ordered a new one, came back out, installed it. So yeah, it was about six weeks down, so it'd be nice if uh, Tesla would have these inverters in stock to give to you, but I guess, you know, warranty and through Solar Edge, they can't just 
say, hey, give us some so we have them in stock. SolarEdge has to confirm the warranty and then send one out. But anyway, I talked to the tech and asked about, you know, SolarEdge inverters going down. How common is it? I got some forums online and everyone who had a solar edge inverter um, that went down all talked about it and apparently you know it's you get all kinds of stories right oh they all go down oh mine's been for years so you kind of get it across the board but i guess as long as it's under warranty solar edge i guess offers an extended warranty from about 12 years up to 25 years um, so you can do that i guess through solar edge you know but i already have a warranty through tesla so yeah, I've been thinking about doing that extension, haven't decided though, but yeah, so I'm back up, you know, so really the inverter went down, the panels, the uh, string inverters, those were all fine. It was just the, I guess, uh, inverter, those those go down once in a while from time to time, so you want to get those replaced as soon as possible to get your power up and going again, but I uh, just wanted to uh, let you guys know about that. That's kind of my story. Uh, I've had my panels a year and a half, the inverter went out for six weeks, got it back up, and that's kind of my whole story with it, so yeah all right well when i ordered my tesla solar system they said i would get about 18,588 kilowatts for the year so since i've been down for about six weeks we'll see how much i make on that but uh i heard that they can do some comp compensation for that and if i can get some compensation for not having us being down and them not fixing it um, i'll definitely do a video on that when i find out more information all right so that's my story um, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you have any questions about anything, go ahead and leave those in the comments. I try to answer every question if I can. And I also have that link down below if you want to um, order a car or Tesla Solar. They usually have some sort of promotion going on with that link. They change it every month. So, yeah, that's my story. So I'll do uh, some more videos if I have any more information to share. So take care and uh, stay sunny. <laughs>